Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Hi guys, how are you feeling this Saturday morning? Well, the weather's not up to much, is it? Unfortunately, in this time of year, you're going to get a lot of rain, a lot of wind and a lot of what I call darkness, you know, the month of darkness is approaching, <laughs> but it starts to get dark about half past four or five o'clock in the evening, and it feels like it's getting on for bedtime and it isn't, and you've got all these hours, and what do you do with them, especially if you're on your own like myself, so Alexa, what's the time? The time is 8.26 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Saturday the 22nd of October. Alexa, the weather? In Rochester, it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 17 degrees and a low of 12 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Alexa, can you tell me a joke? A horse walks into a bar. The barman says, why the long face? I, I don't get that one, but never mind. Right, guys, last night I went for a walk on the field by myself after I did the last video yesterday. And it was pitch black and there wasn't many people about. Um, it's getting on for 8 o'clock actually. <coughs> there wasn't many people about outside at all. Um, usually there's a white car with flashing lights um, outside. Um, but um, there wasn't last night when I went out. It was there when I came back. Just a white car with its lights flashing, like my son sometimes does when he drops me off. He always waiting for me to come outside. Um, you know, that's what he does. So I went out. It was pitch black. I walked like I usually do around the Rochester Riverside, past um, the co-op, past Costa Coffee, onto the field in the dark with my torch. The guy with the two pug dogs was coming back. They had flashing collars round their necks. Um, but, and then people were coming off the field. So I went onto the field. It was pre pretty quiet. And when I walked back, I could see about six or seven people in the dark walking down the path and I couldn't obviously see who they were um, so I waited for them to leave the field and then I walked slowly home whereupon that white car was outside with its flashing lights and somebody seemed to cough as I walked past <coughs> <coughs> I don't know who that was. I haven't got a clue. I just was, so I walked down the side and went round the back entrance, and I noticed that someone had put uh, one of the wet floor signs, you know, cleaning in progress, into the lift. So someone had put a cleaning in progress. It wasn't the cleaners because the cleaners don't work in the building all day. They just come first thing, Monday to Friday in the morning and clean the flats and put the wet floor signs out on the bottom on the bottom floor where, where it's a slippery surface because on the first, second, third floor you've got carpet you don't need wet floor signs and you know why it was in the lift I have no idea so it was jangling up and down in the lift when I was going down down in the lift this cleaning in progress sign um, so, you know, all the, what do you call it, provocation, all, all, all the, like, trigger, trying to trigger me off isn't really working because 
people cough, people have coughs and colds, and if they want to cough to clear their throat, that, that is entirely up to them. I have got a sore throat this morning, <coughs> and I'm croaky. So I put that down to people having a cough and a cold. It really doesn't bother me anymore, any kind of that business, the coughing. That, you know, we all know on who went to... Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Chris Tarrant. They were all coughing uh, to let people know the answers. And, you know, coughing, <coughs> coughing can be many things, but I'm putting that down to the weather and people having a cold. Um, came back into my flat and I put on a Beautiful Mind DVD with Russell Crowe. I thought a, a nice relaxing film, you know, might help me relax and forget things. And um, it seemed to work, so I listened to that. I was able to put the heating on for about 15 minutes before I went to bed, so it kept the room warm before I went to bed. Um, I have to sleep with the window open because I... You know, I find it difficult to breathe at times. So I put the heating on to warm me and the flat up and snuggled under the covers and opened the window for a bit so I could breathe. I also put Halloween on for a bit again, uh, John Carpenter's Halloween. Um, I didn't go to the co-op yesterday. I didn't do any shopping at all. Um, it's pretty much, you know, autumn months can be miserable. They can be uh, quite isolating for people on their own. But I've got my lovely, wonderful little dog who keeps me company, wakes me up and makes me go outside when I don't feel like it. So that's a good thing. Um, so, Alexa, can you put LBC Radio on? LBC London from Global Player contest with 100 MPs now backing him. International rating agency Moody's has lowered the UK's economic outlook from stable to negative. The credit rating remains at AA3, reflecting the country's economic resilience. And thousands of victims who were given infected blood in the 1970s and 80s will receive £100,000 each in compensation. The Cabinet Office estimates around £400 million will be paid out across the UK. And there'll be sea weather, rain or showers continuing across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, and they could be heavy in places too. Elsewhere it's looking mainly dry with some sunshine, feeling quite breezy as well. Southwestern England and Wales will see rain or showers return in the afternoon, with a high later of 18 degrees. This is LBC. <laughs> Blowing up balloons for balloon videos. This is an orange punch balloon. Big one. Yep, that's an orange punch balloon I've just blown up. The radio is full of adverts. Try again, Alexa, LBC Radio. LBC London from Global Player. Make the switch and long lasting smooth results. Our Big Beauty sale is on now. 50% of all laser hair removal packages, Brazilian and underarms, only £24.50 per session. Go to laserclinics.co.uk for T's and C's and to book and buy online. Laser Clinics UK. I've never been a fan of wearing black at funerals. I want people wearing bright colours at mine. Might cheer everyone up a bit. That sounds like a lovely idea. We'll add that to your funeral wishes. With over 150 years experience, you can count on Co-op Funeral Care to help you pre-plan the send-off you want. To find out more, visit your local Co-op Funeral Care or go to co-op.co.uk forward slash funeral plans. Co-op. It's what we do. T's and C's apply. Co-op Funeral Care is a trading name of Co-op Funeral Plans Limited, which is authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Our pledge is to put more money... Stop. So, 
two adverts there, one for hair removal. I'm, as I'm getting older, I'm getting less hair, so I don't need hair removal. Now, me as a woman use, uh, uses um, usually one of those put, uh, the <laughs> throwaway razors, big razors for under my arms. I don't use uh, like a shaver in the old days. Um, but uh, honestly, so you've got an advert for hair removal and you've got an advert for the co-op funeral service. I'm not hairy, as, I, as you get older you lose hair. And basically the co-op funeral service for me wasn't any good. I shan't be using those again and basically talking about death on the funerals when the world is in a miserable state and people are dying is a bit dire and miserable. Um, everybody's out to make money, including funeral services, and people make money from death. And you're advertising death. You know, you're advertising death and dying and making money from it. And I, you know, life is life. Life can be one hell of a, a painful journey. And, you know, there's a time and a place for these adverts and I don't think it's first thing in the morning when people get up, when they're feeling pretty damn shitty anyway. So, you know, adverts are there to make money. They don't care about people. They don't care about people living or dying. They make money. And it's as simple as that. That's what they're there for. Advertising their company to make money. They're not interested in the general members of the public or you and me, nor a dentist, nor anybody else. It's all about making money and as much money as you can. When the poor people haven't got any money for dentists or, or for burying or cremating members of their family. Right? And that's the truth. Now I'm going to get on with drinking my coffee and doing my balloon videos right but the whole world is about making money they don't care about the common members of the public and it's the common members of the public that have to pay for these things that are advertised not rich people poor members of the public have to pay out for these things and suffer the consequences of the huge price rises in food and products and you know it's getting on my nerves now you, they say they're paying out compensation but do people actually get it and do the pe do, and there are people out there including myself that deserve compensation that are never get it and you try suing a doctor or a dentist for negligence it goes nowhere if you're poor and you haven't got a money, the money for a good solicitor. Right guys, I'm going to drink my coffee, get on with the rest of my day and I'll see you all later. Have a great weekend.